Welcome to Nova Videos. In this video, I'm going to illustrate how to use the data analysis commands and the data handling commands of Nova in order to perform fully automatic data handling and analysis, for example, in fuel cell measurements. Welcome to the Nova software. Fuel cell characterization is usually performed by measuring the IV and power curve of the fuel cell. There are two different strategies are possible. First, the constant potential mode. This method works in potential static mode, uh, starting at open circuit potential OCP. Negative over potential steps are applied and the discharge current is monitored. The second option is constant current mode, in where it uh, works as galvanostatic mode. Uh, starting at zero current, negative current steps are applied and the, the potential of the cell is monitored. This video illustrates how to use the data handling commands of NOVA in order to perform fully automatic data handling and analysis in fuel cell measurements. Um, this procedure, or this video describes in this video, uh, is a simulation of an experiment which can be used on the dummy cell A. A constant volt a potential method is used in the experiment. The procedure and the data analysis tools used in this procedure can be easily adjusted for a constant current method. The experiment is, uses a repeat loop to apply a sequence of over potentials relative to the open circuit potential on a fuel cell and measures the discharge current and cell potential for each over potential. Each measurement takes approximately 5 seconds. The interval time is set to 0.1 second. At the end of the experiment, the average value of the current and the potential are calculated using the last 10 data points of each step. And finally, the average potential and the average power values are plotted versus the average current values. We can do this completely automated following uh, with the following commands. The windower command to select the last 10 points of each over potential. The calculate signal command to calculate the mean values of the current potential and power values provided by the windower. The build signal command to filter all the average values of the current and potential and the power values of each over potential. The custom plot we can also use to make a specific custom plots for VI and power versus the current in one graph. Well, how to set this up? First, we'll start with the Outlook Control command. So we can say new procedure, Outlook Control. Then we select the OCP measurement. And we can set the OSP measurement to 20 seconds, for example. Let's say instead it default is 6 to 60 seconds, but that's not what we want. We set to 20 seconds. Also, what we do, we select the plots in plot number 5 and plot number 6, like this. And uh, then we're going to uh, set the set potential zero volt with respect to OCP. So the set potential value apply. We can select this one and zero volt with respect to OCP like this. Then we switch the cell on like that. And we wait for three seconds. The next part uh, is located into the repeat loop and we are going to drag and drop the repeat loop for multiple values in the procedure. So we have the repeat loop is here. We can select multiple values and now we can create a uh, over potentials values with respect to OSP uh, between 0 to minus 1 volt in 7 values. So we can add a range from 0 volt to minus 1 volt and we can have 7 values in between in a linear distribution. 
you can say add range, and all the parameters are set. Well, these values have to be linked to a set potential, of course. So we can drag and drop uh, the set potential in this repeat loop. Set potential. We can drag this one in the repeat loop, like this. And these two are now linked. We hold the control key, link the parameters to the apply potential. This is how it's done. And then we can use record signals after the applied potential. Well, this is with respect to OCP. And um, yeah, the record signals can be dragged after the applied potential. Drag and drop. Set. Put this in the repeat loop like this. So we can measure the following uh, signals in the record signals. We can, in the sampler, we can at the moment it's current, but we're also interested in the potential and we're also interested in the power. We can also set the plots in this um, record signals. So the plots at the moment, I versus T is only available. That's plot number one. E versus T, I'm interested in, in plot number two. Uh, Pretend current may make, uh, that we make red. Potential we make blue, that's okay. And we're also interested in the power as well. So power versus T versus the time where we have the time and the power. And this we're going to plot number three with a different color, of course. Let's make it green. Okay, so we've set, we've sampled uh, three signals, the potential, the current and the power. All right. Um, the record signals we can set for five seconds and the interval time to 0 0.1 seconds. So we have 50 uh, data points. It says estimated number of points is 50 points. And each measurement will, um, the duration is five seconds. So we've created the plots, we've made the measurement, but what we want to do is measure, we, uh, if we're interested only in the last 10 points of each measurement, we have to window these values. And um, that's important to extract to, to use this as a data extraction method. So if you want to, uh, as a user, wants to calculate the average of the current and the potential and the power of the last 10 points of each value, the first step you have to do is to extract the 10 last points from each measurement. This can be done by using the window command. The window command is directly accessible through the wrench icon. So if you go to record signals, you'll see the wrench and then select windower. The windower becomes available in here. The dialog window is used to specify the source of the windower and the boundaries of the source signal. The source in the signal is going to be used to extract the data points required for the analysis. Since we want to select the last 10 data points, we're going to set the source signal to index. So the source signal we can select to index. Once the source has been defined, it's possible to specify the boundaries of the selected source. Each record signals command provides a total of 50 data points, indexed from 1 to 50. Since we want to extract the final 10 points of each measurement, the boundaries will be formed index 41 to index 50. These values can be entered in the beginning and the end fields of the window dialog. So here we'll find fill in 50, uh, 41 and at the end 50. So we have the last 10 data points. Um, from these data points, we can calculate a single value. 
so we can make an average of these um, uh, of these points and that's done again with the uh, with the range button so we select on windower in the range button you will find calculate signal and in calculate signal we can make an average of the current the average of the potential and the average of the power well how that's done well first of all we're going to average we want to have a signal value uh, average current current then we go to more we can select mean the i and now we can link it to a certain value which we sample so now the current is averaged we can do that three times for example we can say okay i'm also interested in the average of the potential average uh, average potential single value and the mean of e for example and e we can link to the signals which we have available potential and again the last one for the power we want to have the range calculate signal average power Ooh. average power calculate signal value mean of p and is again linked to the power so now we've uh, extracted the 10 last signals and from each from these 10 data points we take the average of the data points so we have extracted all the information which is needed and um, now what we have to do is create um, a plot the power plot the IV curves and the power plot well that's we can do this by using the build signal command and the build signal command we can drag and drop at the end of the procedure like this and we can also after the procedure is finished we can switch the cell off like this well in the build signal command we can create because we have made the information which is in here the average current the average potential and the average power we want to use uh, to extract so these are now available in the build signal command and we select those to to sample once we've done that we can create a plot in the main menu press more select plots and in here you can find you can say IV plot and where you can say average current on the x-axis and average potential on the y-axis in plot number four and this you can give a purple color as well like this let's make it a little bit bigger again we put another custom plot in there because we also hit the power where we plot the average current versus the average power in the same plot number because there's an option to do the y-x placement to the right like this and now I've created a custom plot where we have the IV plot and the power plot in one graph and that's in real time you can follow what the average current and the power is doing on your fuel cell like this well we can simulate it by running on a dummy cell um, just press start to start the measurement so first the OCP as in this part of number five and six is the OCP measurement that's for 20 seconds well on a dummy cell it's not so exciting it's just zero volt but um, it's just to show how to measure the OCP and where you can put it in your measurement after 20 seconds 
then the, um, there's a three second delay. Here we'll find the current, the potential, and the power. And in here, you will see um, the real time data of the average power versus the average current and the average potential. So you can follow these plots in real time during the measurement. So we wait until it's finished. So the measurement is finished. So at the end you can conclude that the automatically calculate and extract specific data and plot the information to your own specifications. Thank you for watching Nova videos. If you found this Nova video helpful, like and share with your colleagues. Please subscribe to the Metrum Outlook YouTube channel so you're notified when new videos are available.